To say it's dry in the American West is a major understatement. The U.S. Drought Monitor reported this week the most intense drought in the region in modern history. The consequences are significant for the economy of the West and the rest of the country, which depends on resources that come from there. CBS News climate specialist Jeff Berdelli is back with us. Jeff. Jeff, when you compare last year's drought to this year's drought, considering that last year was the worst fire season in modern history, it paints a picture of just how dangerous the situation is right now. I traveled to California where scientists are using clues from ancient trees to put the current drought into perspective and help us learn from past droughts and help mitigate the current situation. Decoding the past secrets of our western climate starts in California's iconic forests. These trees will certainly provide us with that nice, elegant record of the past. Dr. John Abatsoglu studies the evidence hidden in the rings of these ancient trees. We can use this sort of long-term record here from these tree rings. where We go from wet periods to dry periods to wet periods, and that allows us really to go back prior to when we were measuring uh, climate with thermometers and rain gauges. Modern measurements are no match for the longevity of the tree record. But once you have these trees, you can go back thousands of years. It's really sort of an art, basically sort of, you know, pasting these tree rings together to get a record that goes back upwards of a thousand years. The case he and his colleagues cracked and then published in a landmark paper in the journal Science revealed astounding findings. The West is now in the midst of the worst drought since at least medieval times. This is one of the worst, if not the worst, sort of 22-year period of lean years we've seen, um, going back through 1,200 years of tree ring records across the Southwest. A mega drought on steroids, fueled by warming and drying from human-caused climate change, with shocking symptoms showing up throughout the West. The snowpack has melted two months early, and streams are at a trickle. Just as summer begins, California's 154 reservoirs are only at 50% capacity, like this one just to the west of Yosemite. In fact, right now, if this was full, I'd be under 80 feet of water. And western wildfire season is already underway weeks ahead of time, a sign that things may be picking up where they left off last fall. 2020's catastrophic castle fire tore through tens of thousands of ancient sequoia trees, incinerating in a day what had been growing here for thousands of years. The devastating loss was uncovered by another important tree study, this one by Christy Brigham of the National Park Service. The oldest giant sequoia we think is about 3,200 to 3,500 years old. Can you old. imagine how many humans have come and gone during that time? And how many droughts, how many wildfires? How Christy many is the chief of resource management and science for Sequoia and Kings Canyon National Parks. So your study found that more than 10% of all the sequoias in the world died in this particular fire. Yeah, and not just all the sequoias, but the big ones, the ones that really tug at our heartstrings that make us feel a spiritual connection to eternity because they've lived so long. This is not about climate change in the future or somewhere else. This is climate change here in our backyard and uh, affecting some of the greatest heritage uh, that this country has. Clay Jordan is the superintendent of the parks. How do you manage this iconic forest? So we lost 10% of the sequoias, but there, there's still 90% and, uh, that we haven't lost. We know we need to introduce more fire on the landscape, uh, but we need to do so with care. So you're fighting fire with fire? Yes, absolutely. But even with controlled burns to cut away the amount of fuels around the trees, is it really any match for the amplifying drumbeat of climate change? John Abatsoglu is looking for those answers in the tree rings. Is it possible we could emerge sometime soon from this drought? It is possible. We need a series of really wet years. That said, right, the odds are stacked against us because the warming atmosphere that we've seen and that tax on our water supply is likely not going away. It's likely only going to intensify. You found that mega droughts are a lot longer than 20 years. We've only been in this drought 20 years. So is it possible this could last a lot longer? The drought that we're seeing this year is still sort of a baby mega drought. It's not that old. 
right? And it could grow. It could be, could be talking in 10 years about a 30-year mega drought or in 20 years about a 40-year mega drought. But right now, park managers have more immediate concerns, keeping today's tinderbox conditions from sparking instantaneous devastation in the forest they care for. So this is the worst now drought in 1,200 years. If you look at the 22-year period when we started back in 2000, now you asked how they know looking at these yes. tree rings, right? So the thinner the tree ring, the more of a drought that was happening during that particular time. The thicker, the more rain that was available for these tree rings to grow. So it's pretty easy to piece it together. And this is now the worst when you combine last year and this year, 22-year period drought we have ever seen in the last 1,200 years. The loss of those trees, that history, yeah. uh, that majesty, it just yeah. breaks my heart. Great word for it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Jeff. You're welcome.